Alright, I've been told I am live. Hello everyone. My name is Redden and uh, I'll be doing more here. Uh, so time starts whenever I skip this loading screen. Uh, so we'll be starting in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, uh, so some things to explain right off the bat. This game runs in the Fear Engine, the Jupiter EX. Same one you use in Fear 1. So you, if you've ever seen a speedrun of Fear 1, oh my god, okay. If you've ever seen a Fear 1 speedrun, uh, you might recognize some glitches. Except the thing is, right here, uh, we're playing on easy. If you, you probably noticed, I, pitched, I chose easy. And. Uh, the difficulty in this game is mostly a suggestion. It's not really something to be taken very seriously. Uh, the game is really hard. Even on easy, we'll be we'll be dying a lot. No, there is no slow slow mo, unfortunately. Uh, so you won't be seeing any of those kinds of skips. I am stuck in this railing. Okay. Uh, so you have already seen me do a glitch. Uh, that's called the reload glitch. Basically, whenever you run out of ammo in a clip, uh, you can toggle your weapon to another one and then back, and it will be reloaded automatically. Uh, this first level, there isn't much to, to explain really. Uh, I holster my weapon a lot, or uh, or run around with the with the Luger because it is the fastest starting speed. Here I'm pulling out the MP40 and now the Sten. Uh, Sten is useful because it is very accurate. The thing about it is, uh, while it is accurate, it's not. Uh, there isn't a lot of ammo, uh, so we want to uh, conserve it as much as possible for the important parts. Uh, coming up here is the first major skip of the run. Uh, this is just some uh, lazy, <laughs> lazy collision from the developers. So we're just gonna jump on this tree. Uh, try not to get launched. Jump into this wall. Fall off. Reload checkpoint. This is all according to plan. Don't worry about it. Uh, just for the record, for the record, the record. Kells is skipped like seven times, so we're fine. We're still on pace. Don't worry about it. So you're just gonna walk around here out of bounds. Uh, quick save here, just in case, because I have been missing this jump in practice a bit. There we go. Still not done. Around this gate, inside, and we just skipped like two minutes of walking around. I'm gonna blow this up, shoot the gun beneath us. That's aggressive. Shout out to Dark Souls. Uh, this is the end of the oops, uh, the end of the second stage, I suppose. This bit is a bit difficult. We want to stand, save up some stand ammo for this. Uh, just one of me here, and then two boys here. Oh, I don't kill that one. We want to be careful with enemies because, as I said, they are very ruthless. And there we go. Uh, so now the third stage, the sort of canals, I don't know what else to call them. Not much happens here, not many glitches. Just sort of walk quickly. Uh, here I'll be uh, holding out the MP40 for the most part, which, as I've explained, is slow, but it's a lot safer. And there's a lot of enemies around here, so it's it's just better to be able to kill them quickly. I'm uh, gonna throw a grenade here, hope it doesn't kill me. It hasn't passed. Oh, both of these guys run away. Impressive. Impressive AI. Okay. Uh, so we needed a key for a door, we found a key for the door. Here's a bit of RNG. I'm gonna wait for my health to regen a bit. And shoot these guys. Okay, that's really bad. 
Uh, so one of those enemies is supposed to open the sort of grate, just kick it open, but I was too impatient, I killed them too quickly, so I have to walk around. Could have probably reloaded the jackpot, but it's fine. This enemy seems to have run away, okay. That's fine. So that's a bit of time loss, but it's not too bad. Here we'll be just punching enemies in the face and skipping a bit of a trigger. So out of this door there are enemies that are supposed to come out, but they don't come out until you kill this guy up here. So you just gonna hold off on killing him until about now, and then just skip those entirely. Uh, a lot of a lot of the strats in this game revolve around just avoiding enemies, not getting killed. Thankfully the shooting in this game is as simple as uh, aim at head level and hold it on. Not really that much to it. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the enemies. Uh, you think you could skip it, skip him, but he's gonna come out of that door if you don't kill him. And uh, ruin your day. Oh, my character is more than a pro boxer. Oh no, oh no, this is... Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Oops. I didn't check my ammo. I didn't have enough ammo, it's fine. We blow those up. And now we can holster a gun. More enemies to kill, it should be fine. Uh, so I didn't say this yet, but the... Uh, the melee in this game is very broken, as you could probably tell by know how much I'm just killing everyone but this also applies to the enemies you don't want to get close to the enemies if you do your camera will just fly up into the sky and you will die uh, not really much <laughs> not really much you can do about that okay grab the key got stuck in the couch whatever uh, you get stuck in geometry a lot in this game it's just sort of the thing Okay, I killed this guy for safety, and then we come from behind because the enemies do a lot of damage, and this is like some sort of German Nazi person that we're supposed to kill, so we just shoot him in the head once, and that's the, that's the level. Very cool, very good speed game. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't mention, there's three types of cutscenes in this game. Uh, that one I just skipped is a pre-rendered cutscene uh, which are only skippable with left mouse or escape there is in-game cutscenes which are skippable with space and there is in-game cutscenes which are not skippable which we'll be encountering shortly and I'll let you enjoy the voice acting why do I always get the shitty missions? not yet <laughs> the next one easy man I don't know why they give you a knife, but here's the cutscene. Thank you. You saved our lives. Make your way out of these tunnels. I can't take you with me. Got it. But watch your back, Mortier. There are Germans all over the place. I will. Thanks. Don't thank me. Just get the hell out of here. Just get the hell out of here. There will be a bit more voice acting. By the way, checkpoint placement. There was one right after this cutscene. Here's another one. There was one enemy in between. Uh, this game is very well designed. Okay, so this part is a bit tricky, purely because of how many enemies there are. Uh, we're gonna try to just walk forward and hold them down. Here. Oh, he's hiding. This is unfortunate. This is, yeah. Not the best. Let's hope for some better luck here. Okay, Okay, we're good. Uh, I'll wait here for my health to regen. Uh, walk into this checkpoint, and then we're gonna blow up this door, cook a grenade, throw it, kill this guy, hopefully, and hope I don't die. Very nice. Okay, now the most broken stage of all. Uh, actually, maybe not. Maybe the second was broken. Uh, let's see. 
So we're just gonna sort of walk past these guys. Uh, kill this guy. And I'm gonna take his gun uh, for safety, mostly. I uh, killed two guys with an explosion, that guy. And we're basically done with the stage, because what we're gonna do is jump on this box. Jump on this, if I, if I could just not get boosted off right away. Jump on this, crouch, and we're out of bounds. And this, this sort of tower doesn't really have collisions, so we're just gonna walk through. And that was the end of the level, but this game is a trigger maze and really doesn't like you skipping the last trigger. So we're just gonna step through the door and start backtracking, spawn in some enemies, and yeah, now we're done with the stage. Just gonna walk back here, and we're done. Very well programmed, very well coded, all that. Alright. Uh oh, uh, I'm gonna kill this guy, and this guy, and these two boys. Uh, so, kind of cool skip here, we're gonna throw a grenade, save and reload, lock the door. Someone's behind the door. I'll have to find another way. Yeah, we, we, we have to find another way by throwing a grenade. For whatever reason, that doesn't work unless we reload the save. I don't ask me why. This game is confusing. Uh, we're just gonna slide under this gate. Okay. Uh, do you like Donkey Kong? I sure do. Wow. Okay. And now we're gonna catch this sort of cycle and skip all of that, which used to be the hardest part of the, the run easily. But now we just kind of you know, jump past it. Climb up here, skip some enemy triggers, the usual. Uh, I was supposed to get a checkpoint earlier, but I skipped it, so I'm just gonna quick save there for safety. I shouldn't die here, but just in case I do. So now it's just long corridors of shooting people. Spill this, there's one guy that really didn't like that. Throw a grenade here and reload. This is mostly a safety strat, it's not necessary by any means. It could go under guns blazing. Grab the key. Move on. <laughs> and now coming up soonish is one of the harder parts of the run. Which I'll explain in a second. Uh yeah, coming up here. Get okay, a checkpoint. And we're gonna kill these guys here that spawn by aiming at their head level and shooting. Okay, we're gonna switch to the stand and quick save here. Actually, let's reload just for extra safety. So the game tries to give you a checkpoint here, but it can't because it's in a cutscene and the game doesn't allow that. Doesn't allow making checkpoints in a cutscene for quick saves. Uh, did that kill anyone? I hope so. Okay, good. Uh, you want that grenade to kill two enemies, but one is good enough. Let me just kind of... Uh-oh. Die. Thank you. Okay, that was really good. Uh, it could have been a bit better, but not by much. That part, uh, getting the arena like down is really difficult. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk through. This is one of the relatively glitch light levels. This game is quite fast paced and uh, yeah. If you wanna kill this guy then. Oh, that's not done. Hope I don't die here. I did. This is terribly. Terribly RNG. <laughs> so, like, this, especially this beginning part is just terrible. Oh, I might die again. Okay, I didn't. Very nice. I'm just gonna like quick save here, just in case this guy didn't die and melee me to death. Give me your gun. Okay, could have been worse. More just generic shooting enemies here. Oh, oh that barrel's on fire. 
please don't kill me. I'm gonna grab some ammo here. Ooh, okay. I forgot about you. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, quick save here, because this spot is so dangerous. Hello. Yeah, that's why. The guy just kind of shoved me through the wall. What? Okay. Let's try that again. Dude. Let's regen some health. I'm sorry, this is... Extremely potato. Please don't kill me again. Like, could you please? Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, so, just gonna plant a bomb on this tank because apparently now we're blowing up tanks. And I wanna show this off. It just kinda appears out of nowhere. You, you can run past him, but why? And you can show off some cool moves. Okay, uh, coming up here is just some really annoying part of the game, in my what opinion. Okay, the okay, guy just didn't move. Uh, so you can't actually jump past here. You have to use this. There's an invisible wall right there that you can't cross. Okay, uh, my mic just appears to have muted itself, but I salvaged it. Uh, okay, most broken stage, we use the save load. If you've seen a few speedrun, you know what that is. And we're at the end of the stage. So that's cool. I get ragdolls, it's pretty funny. One more. Okay. Just wait for that to blow up these two guys and we're done oh no oh no the fire the fire is too strong that smell I think <laughs> I found more crowd that early happens uh, so like the jump physics in this game are kind of wonky and it just gave me a lot of forward momentum that it wasn't supposed to but that's okay because you know we'll just do that again but the stage is really short Okay. <laughs> and we're on the last level already. Uh, this run was really good until until that happened on the previous stage, until I died like seven times. Uh, so here's a uni unique thing you might recognize from Pier 1. Yeah. Some enemies just become clouds of jelly. Uh, this is a bit RNG, I hope I don't die. Okay, I didn't. Cool. Gonna quick save here. Just in case. Oh, hi. You never walk forward that much. That's interesting. Uh, I can just read it here. Be ready, boy. Couple more of these here. The third guy here sometimes just doesn't spawn, and I don't know why. Got unlucky that time. I'm just gonna stop here and kill these beats because they're annoying and I don't like them personally. Okay. Doctors hate him. Okay, this part is really annoying. Not specifically this one, but here we're gonna get stuck in a box for a bit. And then this part is pain, so I'm gonna quick save. Just for safety. Okay, 
got through fairly smoothly. Uh, coming up is the last skip of the run, I believe. Uh, we're just gonna push these boxes a bit, quick save here. Shoot this one. That should be good, hopefully. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump on this pipe and jump up. This saves a tiny bit of walking, but it's generally worth it. And now from this point onwards, we're gonna be using the good guns, because there's a bunch of ammo and stuff. No reason not to. Uh, so coming up... Okay, I lied. That wasn't the last skip of the run. There's still one more. If I don't die, please. Please. Don't die. So you've seen me climb ladders before. We're not gonna be doing that anymore. We can just sort of zip up them here because... Video games. Uh, gonna go for the meme shot. Oh baby, a triple. Okay, I'm gonna hold space, spam crouch and use, and now we can't jump anymore. Uh, pick up this grenade for no apparent reason. Shoot three boys here, hopefully not die. They're being really aggressive, I don't know. Like Why? Okay, uh, we need to go back. <laughs> Oops. So when you die, you lose a levitation glitch. That's that's unfortunate. That's like the, the main thing that can go wrong in this run. Oh my god! I thought I killed that guy, but I guess not. Okay, we're gonna just go full potato. It's fine, my estimate is very generous. Come on. You can't take too long here or you will just die. Please? Oh my god. Hello? There we go. <laughs> now let's kill these guys properly. There we go. And all that does is allow us to skip lowering this down. And it can just fly over. Reload here to lose the levitation glitch. And this is the... Okay, no. I lied. Again. This isn't the last part of the game. We can kill this guy in the cutscene. Pretty good. Uh, please die. Okay. Oh, the wor one of the worst parts is coming up right here. This wall, you blow up. And then it kind of sometimes just doesn't let you through. Okay, it was nice this time. I'm glad. And this is the last room of the game. Time is coming up in like a minute or so, depending on how well I do here. Uh, two enemies are gonna spawn here. Kill neither of them because you're terrible at shooting. Two enemies down here, and then. Two more should be around. Yep. Oh. Uh, let me reload. And then we get a quick save here, or checkpoint rather. Uh, one guy was going to be pulling out of here. Kill him. Throw two grenades up there. I'm gonna die. I didn't die. I'm gonna die still. I'm gonna die of full damage probably. Or just be shot in the air. I uh, tried it again. I threw the grenade too low, I think, so it bounced off. There we go. This is not really to kill anyone, just to distract them long enough that I can... Oh no. Okay. And... time. <laughs> yeah, the, the end is very hectic there. The end is uh, something. But that was Martyr. Operation Thunderstorm. Uh, this game is available to download for free, as you cannot buy it anymore without, like, with supporting the devs. By the way, shoutouts to CD Interactive, well, nowadays known as CI Games, for making this masterpiece. Uh, I really like this game, I play it way too much. For my own good. Uh, but yeah, that was it. Thanks for watching, uh, good luck to, I believe VK is running Call of Duty 1 next? Uh, sorry, good luck to, to him.
and uh, I'll see you, I believe, tomorrow I have two runs. Uh, so yeah, see you then. Bye-bye.